important interaction of broad spectrum antibiotics with OCPs. So what is the concept here is estrogen which is present in the oral contraceptives it come in the GIT after coming in the GIT it is absorbed it goes to the blood it goes to blood some of the estrogen will produce the action which we want systemically it is retained but some of the estrogen it goes to liver suppose 10 percent is utilized systemically 90 percent of estrogen go to liver and where estrogen is conjugated estrogen is conjugated it is attached to glucuronide group in the liver okay? now this conjugated estrogen it is secreted in the bile so it came come in the bile duct, gall bladder so through the gall bladder it will come in the duodenum in the GIT so conjugated estrogen has come in the GIT estrogen has come in the GIT gall bladder drain its content in the GIT now the bacteria which are present in the colon it will break the conjugated estrogen to estrogen so the bacteria of the GIT it will break conjugated estrogen to estrogen and this estrogen is absorbed again again some of that is utilized and some of that will go to liver it is conjugated again secreted in the GIT and again it is converted to estrogen which can be reabsorbed so this is known as anterohepatic cycling so estrogen undergo anterohepatic cycling antero matlab intestine hepatic means liver so anterohepatic cycling so same estrogen is utilized again and again and again and again now when we give a broad spectrum antibiotic like ampicillin or tetracycline they will kill this bacteria so when this bacteria is killed enzymes are not there so estrogen cannot be deconjugated when estrogen is not deconjugated it cannot be absorbed means it will be excreted in the feces so the same estrogen which could have worked again is excreted so that will lead to failure of contraception okay? so whenever a person is taking oral contraceptive we should not use long term uh, broad spectrum antibiotics or if the person is taking broad spectrum antibiotics we should use some other method of contraception because it can lead to failure of contraception okay.